Hello everyone and welcome back to 50 Plus Luxury Style. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to my April favorites. The one theme that you shall see throughout the April favorites is that they are easy, uncomplicated, and just no thought necessary. That's what I found has really been the theme of the last month with everything that has been going on. I wanted things that just have worked for me, but that are simple. No big layering, no having to think about things over and over again, just real easy. So if you're interested in finding out what my favorites for the month of April have been, just keep on watching. The first thing I wanna talk about is this right here, and it is the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. And it is a mouthful, however, it is wonderful. I purchased this months and months ago, sometime in 2020. I've used it on and off, but I truly have started wearing it on a daily basis uh, in April. And I absolutely love it. I use it on top of my sunscreen and this is what it looks like. It just rubs right in very, very nicely, gives you a slight glow and I really like it. I use it kind of like a primer, but really to give me some additional uh, moisture and I've been loving that. The other thing that I have been loving, which is new, new to me, However, uh, I talked about it on my Sephora haul, and I'll link that video up for you, is this right here, and this is the Westman Atelier Blush Stick in the color Petal. It is what I am wearing today, and I have been wearing it non-stop ever since I purchased it. This is the color, and it just blends in beautifully. It is very easy, uncomplicated. I can throw this on even when I am driving to work, of course, at a stop sign or at a light or at the parking lot when I get there. But it is very easy, beautiful, like I said, just uncomplicated. And that's what April has been about for me after everything that has been going on. The other thing that I picked up and I love is the foundation stick from Westman Atelier. And again, I'm not gonna go into it, but you do need to watch out for your shade. I am gonna be ordering another one so that I can mix them, but I have been loving the foundation stick as my foundation for going to work. Again, very simple, throw it on. And then I like to buff it in with this. Another favorite for me, this is the Sephora Pro Slanted Buffing Brush number 88. And as you can see, very well loved and used. This is what I use to really buff in the um, foundation stick or anything else that I use. But I found that this has been really, really nice to buff the Westman Atelier foundation onto my skin and I've been enjoying it a lot. I've had this brush for easily one year at least and I really, really like it. Other things that I have been enjoying, I have right on my lips and this is the Chantecaille Lip Veil. I have a couple of those. This one in particular is called Pink Lotus and this is what it looks like and the this is the color. I've also layered on top of it the Tom Ford Sunlist lip gloss, which is gorgeous. Again, talked about it in the Sephora haul. I just kind of put that uh, on top or I put this one on first and then the lip veil, but I love the combination. Like I said, very easy, moisturizing, summer-like or spring-like if you live in a state that actually has seasons, but these have just been a godsend, to be honest. Just helping me feel a little bit better about things and just really enjoying them. OPI. 
this color right here, which is Susie without a paddle. I've been very, very excited with this color. Just again, a happy Easter like color, really nice. And last of the accessories is this right here. And this is a brush by Conair. It's called the Knot Doctor. And what makes this super special is that it has this little case that you just unzip to get the brush out. This is what the brush looks like. And the reason I like it is because you can throw this into your bag and you don't have to worry about the hairs going all over the bag. It's, it's protected in here. And if you have long hair like I do, when you brush your hair, obviously there's hair left on the brush. And if you wanna take this to work, you really don't want hairs all over your purse. So I find this to be very effective and really nice to carry when you have a big bag, obviously, because it is a full size brush now clothes wise there's a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you about the first thing I want to show you is by Veronica Verta and I wanted to show you the box comes in this beautiful hot pink box and was very nicely packaged I purchased two items from them the first one is the pearl top light pink which is this one right here and forgive all of these wrinkles. It is actually dirty. I just pulled it out of the dirty clothes hamper so I could show it to you. Short sleeve with this beautiful ruffle at the neckline and at the sleeves straight down and these really, really pretty pearl-like buttons. Look at the detail on that, just beautiful really really pretty and then the second item is the it's called the Lorene tweed shirt pink and it's this that i'm wearing right now and it is beautiful it's kind of like a tweed like lightweight shirt it is oversized let me see if i can give you a little bit better view see it's oversized has gold snaps two pockets in the front and I just kind of roll up the sleeves really really beautiful gives you that Chanel vibe without the Chanel price very pretty like I said oversized first time I order from that vendor I will link her information down below very very happy with the quality very happy with the items and I certainly plan on ordering more. Like I said, I've used these already to work and I love them. This is really nice for if you're in the spring in other states where it's not hot, but it's not cold, you can wear this uh, with something underneath or not something underneath. For South Florida where it is hot as heck, I do wear this to work because even though it's 90 or 85 degrees outside, it's usually 70 or 60 something inside the office building. So this is great to just throw on top and really elevates any outfit. Last but not least, when it comes to the clothing, I wanna share this Wit and Wisdom Jeans with you. And this is a brand that I discovered, unfortunately, because I've gained so much weight during COVID that I had to buy jeans that were a little more comfortable than what I had. These are super comfortable. They have an elastic waistband and these in particular have the raw hem at the bottom and they have a little bit of distress right here and over here and those are the only places, but they're really, really very comfortable. And again, since I don't fit into a lot of my clothes, that has been my jean of choice. I do love them. I wish that I was wearing them just because I love them and not because I can't fit into my other things, but we're trying to do something about Last that. Last but not least, the bag of the month definitely has been my Neverfull in monogram with the Rose Ballerine interior and fully, fully stacked. As you can see, with all sorts of things and yes she's just so easy victorine the 
mini pochette, masks. Oh, while I'm at it, let me just unbox this for you. I never got around to it. This I picked up about two months ago and it is the LV mask also. I'm not gonna put it on right now because I have lipstick, but I did pick this one up. I wish I would have known they had a plain black one with the LV. I would have gotten that, but I didn't know. So I did pick this one up. And yeah, so definitely the Neverfull because it's just so easy. And I don't really care if people call it basic. There's nothing wrong with basic. Basic means that, you know what? You use it every day because it's simple and easy. And that's what I've been using. So I hope that you enjoyed my April favorites. Leave me your comments down below if you have also been enjoying some of these items or what have been some of your favorites in the past month. And I will see you soon. Bye.